obviously I said Tom Brady was going to have a great week. You can't. I didn't predict he was going to go down for the season. How could I? Uh, Peyton Manning, eh, eh, we'll not talk too much about that. He had an all right game. I mean, numbers-wise, he ended up doing okay. Nothing too big or spectacular. And Indy lost that game, which was just embarrassing. But it does look like Chicago might be a decent team this year. So maybe that won't be too bad for Indy in the long run. Uh, Romo had a nice game. I told you that. Warner kind of disappointed. Uh, so I apologize. I, I had him as my number four quarterback last week. Kind of disappointed. But I had Drew Brees in my top five as well. And he had a really, really nice week. So uh, running back-wise, LT did well like I thought. Uh, Brian Westbrook did well like I said. Uh, Joseph Adai did not. Now he he was having kind of a rough game right up until he got hit by Lance Briggs and went out. And anyhow, he, he cost me a week. I got to say, I'm really good at fantasy football, I promise. But in my two leagues, I, I started 0-2 this year. I lost both games. I don't know. I don't know. It might not be my year, but uh, I'm going to try to snap, uh, snap out of it. I just made a big trade today, and I think I'll be in good shape. I will not go 0-2 in either league, guaranteed. Um, I, I said I like Marion Barber last week. He had a really nice game. And I also had Adrian Peterson in my top five. And I also had him on my list of potential letdowns, which I know is playing both sides of the field. But listen, I he, to me, last week, Adrian Peterson was one of those things. It was one of those games where well, I had to put him in the top five because he's Adrian Peterson. But at the same time, I had to put somewhat of a question mark by him because he was going up against a tough Green Bay defense, and I wasn't sure Minnesota could do anything else but give the ball to AP. Turns out, that's all you need to do. So AP had a nice week. Um... Well, like I said, I didn't really miss on too much. Randy Moss had a good week. T.O., Reggie Wayne, Larry Fitzgerald. I'm not, I'm not sure what Andre Johnson did. I know Houston got beat up pretty bad by Pittsburgh. I had Andre Johnson in my top five, and I'm not even sure what his stats were. So I don't think he did anything too impressive, but four out of five isn't bad. Know what I mean? Um, my sleepers, I said J.T. O'Sullivan, not a good call. I had Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers, Matt Hasselbeck. Favre and Rodgers had nice games. Hasselbeck did not. Uh, I also had uh, Frank Gore, uh, Lawrence Maroney, Ronnie Brown, Thomas Jones, Michael Turner in there as sleepers. And Michael Turner obviously worked out very well. Same goes for uh, for Frank Gore, Maroney, Ronnie Brown. And Tom Jones had a nice game, too, over 100 and a touchdown, I believe. Not too bad. I also had Nate Burleson as a sleeper who did score for Seattle before he went out. So I did. I, uh, I hit. I hit on a lot of things last week. I did okay for you guys. Uh, letdowns, I said Derek Anderson. David Garrard, I was right, I was right. Uh, Mark Bolger, I was right about that. I also said Jake DeLome, which I missed on. Uh, DeLome had a nice week, and it looks like he may have a few more before the season's over. I also said running back-wise, look out for Ryan Grant, uh, who had 92 yards on the ground, but don't let that fool you. He had a really, really bad, uh, really, uh, let's say a, a mediocre day, an average day. Average day. He only got 12 carries, but he broke that one for uh, like 50 yards and ended up with 92 yards on the day, so it looks like he had a pretty decent day against a stout run D, but he got most of that in one play, and the fact that he only got 12 carries worries me a little bit. A little bit. And, you know, he's coming off a sore hamstring. Uh, he, he barely played at all in the preseason. So, yeah, I mean, to me, you, you would think that his carries are going to are going to increase, Right, as he gets feeling a little better, I wouldn't let that 12 carries worry me too much. I know people are thinking Brandon Jackson is going to be a bigger factor in the game this year. He might, but I still think Ryan Grant. I still think Ryan Grant is the main guy. I I still think he is. I think he's going to get the majority of the touches when that hamstring feels a little better. He'll be okay. But I didn't feel like he was going to have a big week last week, and he didn't score. So I think I was kind of right. And he is basically shut down besides that one play. So I think I was right about that. Uh, I also said John Stewart probably wouldn't have a great game, and I don't think he did anything too spectacular. I know a lot of people probably had him plugged in uh, as a number two, maybe even a number three uh, running back or a flex. It didn't work out. I also said Chad Johnson, Torrey Holt will probably be kind of, you know, have let down weeks, and they both did uh, extremely, extremely. So not too bad, right? Not too bad. And I pointed out the things I was wrong about, so I'm not just saying, look what I was right about. I pointed out the stuff I was wrong about, too. I'm, I'm being fair. Right? More good than bad, wouldn't you say? All right. Uh, this week, we'll get right into it. Like I said, I don't have a lot of time. I'm tired. I'm dirty. I'm sweaty. I've been worried. I'm filthy. I'm absolutely filthy. We're going to get to this week, though. My number one quarterback for this week, we're starting with quarterbacks. I'm going to go 
one through five, and then same with running backs, one through five. Wide receivers, tight end, same thing. And then I'll give you one letdown and one sleeper at each position, and I'm getting out of here. My quarterbacks are, number one, surfer girl, you will like this, Ben Roethlisberger, Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback, uh, on the road against Cleveland. I, uh, to me, that just that spells huge week. Roethlisberger is going to have a big year, and this week against Cleveland, he's going to have a big week. A big week. Romo had a big game against against Cleveland, and Cleveland just doesn't have a good D. Bottom line, they don't have a good D. They're going to let a lot of points up this year, and this week will be no exception because the Steelers look really, really, really good. Remember, they're my pick to win the Super Bowl. I said it on the Athletic Supporters, and I'm sticking with it. I, I think the Steelers are the real deal this year. They're going all the way, uh, and I'm not a Steelers fan. I'm just throwing it out there. Um, but Roethlisberger, I think, is the number one quarterback start this week, especially with Tom Brady out. Uh, it really, really kind of makes it a, a, you know, people can reclaim the top spot at quarterback again. I, Tom Brady is, it was a, a surefire pick to go in the number one spot every week, and now it's a crapshoot. You know, now it's going to be guys like Roethlisberger, Breeze, Manning, the other Manning. Keep factor that in. Uh, speaking of the other Manning, he comes in at number two, going up against a terrible, terrible, terrible St. Louis defense and team all around. Eli Manning will shred this St. Louis team. Shred them. Plaxico Burris, who had a gigantic week last week against Washington, will have an even bigger week this week. I know it's scary, but he will. He'll probably even score a touchdown. Uh, and Eli Manning will toss for two or three. It, it, it's going to be a big week for Eli Manning. Uh, number three, I like Eli's big brother, Peyton. Maybe I'm kind of a homer because I'm a huge Peyton Manning fan. I know he had a disappointing week last week, and they're going up against Minnesota this week, and I think Peyton Manning is going to be a little angry and a little upset about going 0-1 for the first time in the last seven years. So I think that Peyton Manning is going to have a nice week against Minnesota. And if you heard me on, on, a, on the Fantasy Football 101 last Saturday, we talked a little bit about Minnesota because I said – I liked Aaron Rodgers last week. I said, Aaron Rodgers, I think, is a nice start against Minnesota. Remember, Minnesota's run defense is incredibly good. They're pasty at near the bottom. All right, They finished last season 28th in pass defense. All right, That's right near the bottom. Right? They were number one in rush D, but they couldn't stop the pass. So what did they do? They bring in Jared Allen, All right, lineman, defensive lineman Jared Allen. Sounds great. All right? Sounds great on paper to get more pressure on the quarterback. And it's going to help the, you know, the pass D a little bit. Well, listen, if your quarterbacks can't cover anyone, it doesn't matter how much pressure you're getting on the quarterback. A good quarterback only needs a second and a half to find an open receiver. It isn't that easy. And the DBs in Minnesota aren't getting it done. So you can, that's fine. You, Jared Allen got zero sacks last week. Zero sacks. And, and, you know, this is Aaron Rodgers' first start. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know, that, that was a time to prove a point. Our defense is for real. Our passing is for real. We can shut you down, and they didn't. They didn't shut down Aaron Rodgers in his first start. They are going to have their hands full with Peyton Manning this week, uh, and angry Peyton Manning at that. I like Peyton at, at number three. At number four, Aaron Rodgers. He went from a sleeper last week to cracking the top five this week. Uh, not that not that all of a sudden after one game I think he's the, the savior of Green Bay football. It's just that they're going up against Detroit who looked terrible last week, terrible on defense. So I'm saying Aaron Rodgers is going to have a nice week on the road at Detroit. He's even more comfortable now. You thought he looked comfortable in his first start? Wait till you see him in his second against a team like Detroit that poses absolutely no threat. And Aaron Rodgers looked good against Minnesota. Now that's a good team. Now they're playing Detroit. Aaron Rodgers is going to have a nice day. I like him at number four. Number five, I like Kurt Warner uh, going up against Minnesota. I think Kurt Warner is going to have kind of a bounce back week. He kind of had a disappointer last week. I'm not ready to give up on him just yet. I think he's still a top five uh, this week, and I like him against Minnesota. I like Kurt Warner. Let's go.